Hello, good afternoon educators and welcome to Minggu Belajar bersama Mentari Teachers Academy presented by Mentari Group and Mentari Teachers Academy. Well, how are you educators? I hope everyone's are in a good condition because today we are going to study together with Miss Yuliana Dewi. I want to remind you to put yourself in the most comfortable position so that we can contribute active in our training session. Right, educators, I also want to remind you to keep your video on to make our session more live. And while waiting for other participants to join our room, please kindly watch some videos from Mentari Group. Enjoy the videos.
Yuliana. I'm a trainer in Mentai Teachers Academy since 2015. So since uh, I was joining with Mentai Teachers Academy, I've been doing a lot of things. I mean, like starting from developing the materials uh, to be used in the trainings for the other trainers as well, and also delivering the training throughout Indonesia. And besides developing the materials and uh, what is that, delivering the training, I am also developing my own skills and my own um, creativity because every time I have to face school, so we have different challenges, I need to develop myself, I need to improve the techniques and the methods. And what is interesting from um, the trainings uh, from Thai Teachers Academy is the techniques, the methods that we develop. So we try to enable all of the participants to participate in our activities. So it's kind of like nobody is left behind and then nobody is being enabled to speak even though kind of like they are making mistakes but still they are developing their own self-confidence uh, day by day uh, that by the end of the training they are developing not only their English skills but also their courage and um, their confidence when they are speaking in English. Yeah, we are applying the principles of learning by doing. So if you want to see what is it like in the classroom, how you're going to apply it in the classroom, and you're going to have fun when you are learning. So you have to come and join Mantari Teachers Academy. Thank you. pentingnya guru. Guru adalah pengaruh utama untuk generasi muda. Guru mampu mengubah generasi muda Indonesia. Maukah kamu mengambil peran itu? Mengambil peran penting membangun generasi muda, generasi bangsa. Negara memanggilmu. Jawab panggilan ini. From our team, yeah. uh, the, the things that we are interested in doing but haven't got the chance yet for Miss Jen is to join a cooking class. To for, join a cooking class? Yeah. Okay. For Miss Kas- Miss Kartiani is to do uh, to do bungee jumping. Oh, okay, right. So I will try it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Miss Sri, it's snowboarding. Snowboarding. Yeah. 
No Border Mystery. Wow, okay. What job is that? Plumber. 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 How do you say it? Plumber. Plumber. So with the silent B. Jadi B nya nggak dibaca. Plumber. Plumber. Very good. Plumber. 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 A dentist. Yeah, a dentist. What about this one? Plumber. Gardener. 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 What about this one? Doctor. 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 The, the keyword, cubic unit. That's why here CC is a cubic centimeter. It tells about the cubic unit. That's why it is important for us to learn the volume of the cube first. Start from the very simple. Here, can you can you help me to count how many cube do we have now? Part A, the letter A. Seven. I. Wow. For the entire figure. Yep. Baik, pertama dulu saya jelaskan apa pengertian filosofi. Filosofi ini sebenarnya berasal dia dari bahasa Yunani, yaitu filo, artinya cinta, dan sofia, kebijaksanaan. Berarti cinta sofia, berarti cinta kebijaksanaan. Nah, maksudnya mengapa cinta kebijaksanaan? Karena ternyata itu yang disebut orang yang bijaksana itu adalah hanya satu, yaitu pencipta. Atau yang disebut di dalam para, uh, para filsuf mengatakannya sebagai kausa prima. Penyebab alam semesta ini ada. Hanya dialah yang bijaksana. Ini perlu kita tahu bahwa fil, uh, para filsuf itu tidak mengatakan ini Tuhan. Karena... Salam sejahtera untuk Bapak Ibu Guru, Pendidik, dan Pimpinan Sekolah. Selamat dan terima kasih sudah bergabung di Minggu Belajar Bersama Mentari Teachers Academy pertama diselenggarakan di bulan Juli yang dihadiri lebih dari 500 peserta dari Aceh hingga Papua. Kami menghadirkan 10 topik menarik dari International Class, Kelas Bahasa Inggris untuk Preschool, Primary, dan Secondary, Matematika dalam Bahasa Inggris dan Bahasa Indonesia, Kelas Sains, dan juga menghadirkan filsafat pendidikan untuk usia paut, usia sekolah, dan juga usia remaja. Yuk kita saksikan keseruan dari Minggu Belajar bersama Mentari Teachers Academy di bulan Juli. English is very irregular when it comes to spelling. That's just because of the history of English. We have adopted words from many different languages and we haven't changed the original spelling. Mengapa penting sekali ini di usia SD? Karena anak ini mulai masuk ke usia remaja, mencari identitasnya. Kalau mereka tidak bagus dipersiapkan di usia ini, nanti di sana menjadi lepas kontrol. Mengat selfie, tapi dia juga ada kaki tiganya. Nah, jadi di bagian atas bisa ditempatkan handphone, dan handphone itu bisa dijadikan sebagai kamera yang kedua. Terkadang pakai webcam juga bisa. Jadi nanti hasilnya adalah seperti yang di bagian tengah-tengah sini yang sedang saya tunjukkan dengan kursor. Jadi misalkan mau ada peragaan khusus dengan bentuk-bentuk square misalnya, bentuk persegi bisa. For example, if you are teaching simple past and past continuous, ask them to match, uh, what is that? The simple past and then the past continuous because they have to think. Is it logical? Is it not logical? You don't like that. Uh, you can... Uh, send the list of materials ahead of time. I think somebody shared that and that's uh, very good. Put it in the stream in the Google Classroom so they can uh, like find or search for these materials ahead of time and they do the experiment with you. We all knew it was coming. We all knew the digital revolution was coming. We all knew the online learning revolution was coming. We were all possibly a little bit resistant to it and in denial about its existence but it's here and so 
once we've accepted its limitations, um, embrace it and let's make it the best it can be. Minggu Belajar Bersama Mentari Teachers Academy adalah program pengembangan untuk guru pendidik di seluruh Indonesia menghadirkan 10 topik penting dari subjek bahasa Inggris, matematika, science, metodologi, pedagogi, karakter building, dan juga teaching management. Program diselenggarakan secara konsisten dan berkesinambungan di setiap bulannya pada minggu keempat dari bulan Juli sampai dengan bulan November 2020. Khusus di bulan Agustus, Minggu Belajar Bersama Mentari Teacher Academy menghadirkan tema implementasi pengajaran di era new normal. Tentu saja dengan 10 topik yang menarik dan pastinya bermanfaat untuk bapak dan ibu guru pendidik dimanapun Anda berada. Mari gabung bersama Minggu Belajar Bersama Mentari Teacher Academy bulan Agustus tanggal 25 sampai dengan 29 Agustus 2020. Terima kasih. Dear educators, now we are going to play Mentari Group Anthem atau Mars Mentari Group that we sing every day and in all Mentari Group events as part of our passion to live the vision, mission, and culture of Mentari Group in each of our works, namely Build Education, Develop Nation. Please listen to the anthem. Baik, Bapak dan Ibu sekalian. Saya, kami akan memutarkan Mars Mentari Group yang kami nyanyikan setiap harinya dan di semua acara Mentari Group sebagai bagian dari semangat kami untuk menghidupi visi, misi, dan kultur Mentari Group dalam setiap karya kami, yaitu bangun pendidikan, majukan bangsa. So that's about Mentari Anthem. So good afternoon again educators and welcome to Minggu Belajar bersama Mentari Teachers Academy with a topic engaging students to actively involve in online learning for grammar lessons presented by Mentari Group and Mentari Teachers Academy. This is a teacher training and development program that is consistent and sustainable created to be a platform for educators across Indonesia to share and grow together. For two hours ahead, me, Naufal, will lead this agenda together with our colleague, Mr. Rido. Before we start our agenda, let me inform you some regulation for our event. Please, Mr. Rido. So, Ms. Juliana will start to deliver her materials at 2 p.m. Make sure you have a stable internet connection. While the trainer delivering materials, your microphone will be muted. Only the trainer who can allow to display materials so educators can listen and follow the materials delivered by our trainer. We will have a Q&A session. If you have any question, please type on the chat column. We also open the Q&A session directly to our trainer by using raise hand feature in the participant column. Tentunya dalam sesi kali ini peserta akan kami berikan kesempatan untuk bertanya. Bagi yang ingin bertanya, Bapak dan Ibu bisa menggunakan kolom chatnya atau di akhir sesi nanti kita akan membuka sesi pertanyaan 
dengan menggunakan fitur raise hand yang terdapat di profile Zoom Bapak dan Ibu. If you use a laptop or a computer, you can click on participant, then there will be a raise hand. Then, if you use a cell phone, you can click on the three dots in the lower right corner. There is option more than select raise hand feature. The trainer will give you a chance to the participants by activating participants audio. And that's all for the regulation. And now educators, before we start our event, kindly fill in our attendance form through the link displayed on the screen or use the link on the chat column. Berikut Bapak dan Ibu, kami tampilkan adalah link daftar kehadiran yang dapat Bapak dan Ibu ketik terlebih dahulu di browser atau copy paste dari kolom chat kami. Dan uh, mohon untuk diperhatikan pengis melakukan pengisian nama lengkap dan juga alamat email yang benar agar tidak terjadi kesalahan. Kami akan berikan waktu sekitar 3 menit untuk melakukan pengisian. Time is enough for you to fill in our attendance form. Now, educators, without any further ado, let's start our session by watching our trainer's video profile. Please welcome Miss Yuliana Dewi. Okay, thank you, Nova. All right, okay. So, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yuliana. So nice. Uh, it's really nice to meet you. But uh, today, before I deliver my training, so just allow me uh, on the behalf of Mentality Teachers Academy. So, I would like to show you some of the programs that Mentality Teachers Academy have. Okay. 
Jadi saya nanti akan sampaikan dulu dalam bahasa Indonesia. Saya mewakili uh, Mentari Teachers Academy. Jadi saya uh, akan menyampaikan satu dua hal sebentar gitu ya. Oke. Okay. Alright, so um, di Mentari Teachers Academy yang merupakan a member dari Mentari Group, kita memiliki visi dan misi seperti berikut. So our vision is to be the leader for the teachers training and professional development activities in Indonesia. Well, our mission is to help teachers to develop their ability to become competent and professional in teaching and prepare the teachers to be pro uh, truly professional, especially in English, math and science, either in national or international scope. Jadi sejalan dengan visi dan misi ini, Mentari Teachers Academy itu memiliki beberapa program. Program yang pertama yang sudah kita lakukan sejak bulan lalu adalah Minggu Belajar Bersama Mentari Teachers Academy. Kita singkat jadi MBMTA gitu ya, biar nggak terlalu panjang. Yang untuk bulan ini kami lakukan di tanggal 25 sampai tanggal 29 Agustus. Jadi kita ada MBMTA setiap akhir bulan. Ya. Nah, setiap bulannya kita punya topik-topik tersendiri yang kayak disesuaikan dengan kondisi sekolah saat ini, gitu ya. Jadi, yang bulan Juli kemarin bertepatan dengan uh, tahun ajaran baru, jadi kita punya topik memperluas wawasan dan pemahaman pengajaran jarak jauh. Jadi, kayak lebih gimana cara membuka kelas, gimana cara engage students at the first meeting, kayak gitu. Kemudian di Agustus dan September kita memiliki uh, program untuk implementasi mengajar di era new normal. Jadi kayak gimana sih cara ngajar yang uh, apa namanya engaging, cara ngajar yang menarik dan cara ngajar yang interaktif gitu. Kemudian di bulan Oktober dan November karena nanti akan berdekatan dengan evaluasi dan uh, assessment gitu ya. Semua topik-topiknya akan berhubungan dengan penilaian dan evaluasi jarak jauh. Nah, program yang lain uh, yang kita lakukan adalah 100 hari transformasi guru. Nah, ini program apa? Ini program untuk mencetak guru yang kompeten, cakap, dan berkarakter. Dan akan dilakukan selama 100 hari. Nah, kompetensi yang mau dikembangkan sesuai dengan Undang-Undang nomor 14 tahun 2005 ya. Jadi ada empat kompetensi yang mau kita kembangkan di sini. Kompetensi kepribadian, kompetensi pedagogi, kompetensi sosial, dan kompetensi profesional. Dan di masing-masing profesion uh, kompetensi itu kita juga uh, memiliki apa namanya tujuan tersendiri nih di kompetensi profesional kita mau supaya uh, mereka memiliki tingkat profesiensi bahasa Inggris di level B1 sampai C2. Jadi dalam artian kalau gurunya mau ngajar di sekolah international plus gitu level bahasa Inggrisnya sudah setidaknya at least sudah di B1 menurut CFR. Kemudian di keterampilan mengajar, kita nanti akan bertujuan supaya guru itu mampu memanage kelasnya secara online maupun offline, kemudian terampil menyampaikan materi, dan bisa menggunakan media pengajaran baik untuk offline dan online. Kemudian untuk kepribadiannya, kita mau supaya gurunya itu berkarakter baik, berdedikasi, senang, bangga, dan percaya diri sebagai guru. Lalu kita juga ada keterampilan abad 21, yaitu yang uh, four C's, ya. Critical thinking, creativity, uh, communication, and collaboration. Nah, keseluruhan jam dari program ini, program satu hari menjadi guru, uh, bisa dibagi sebagai berikut. Jadi, untuk membangun kompetensi pedagogis, itu kita ada 60 jam. Untuk uh, kompetensi kepribadian itu 24 jam. Kompetensi sosial 36 jam. Kemudian yang terakhir ya, kompetensi uh, profesional itu ada 80 plus 120 jam. Nah, totalnya itu ada 320 jam. Jadi pelatihan ini akan dilaksanakan selama 80 hari. Sisa 20 harinya akan dilakukan uh, untuk penilaian, assessment, dan juga praktek mengajar. Nah, topik uh, modul-modulnya apa aja? Modulnya dibagi dalam tiga ya. Nanti jadi nggak semua kayak 80 jam itu terus uh, kita mempelajari satu hal yang sama terus-terus tidak. Jadi ada modul dasar, modul uh, menengah, kemudian modul mahir gitu ya. Nah, untuk pelaksanaannya sendiri gimana kayak cara mendaftarnya? Kita juga kerja sama dengan sekolah dan untuk info lebih lanjut tentang uh, bagaimana cara mendaftarnya 
nanti bisa ditanyakan lebih lanjut lagi ke Mandari Teachers Academy. Yang pasti ada dua jalur nih, ada professional development, jadi sekolahnya ngirim gurunya uh, dan didanai oleh sekolah itu untuk ikut program 100 hari transformasi guru. Atau sekolahnya lagi mau rekrutmen, jadi sekolahnya rekrutmen guru baru, tapi dia mensponsori si guru baru. Jadi kalau nanti udah lulus gitu, dia bekerja di sekolah yang uh, yang sudah menjadi sponsor dia gitu ya. Nah, program yang ketiga adalah Continuous Professional Development. Nah, programnya ada tiga juga nih, kefasihan berbahasa Inggris, keterampilan mengajar, kemudian kompetensi kepribadian dan sosial. Sama seperti uh, Program 100 hari menjadi guru sebenarnya, cuman di sini programnya kita yang ngadain, kita apa namanya, kita mau melatih ke pasien berbahasa Inggris nih, kita ada INEP, English for Non-English Teachers. Jadi kalau guru matematika, guru science mau mengajar dalam bahasa Inggris, kita biasanya arahin ke programnya INEP. Kemudian untuk keterampilan mengajar untuk bahasa Inggris, kita ada English Teacher Teachers Training. Untuk guru matematika, kita ada Ultimate. Kemudian untuk guru sains, kita ada primary science. Sedangkan untuk kompetensi kepribadian dan sosial, kita ada filosofi pendidikan. Ya. Nah, itu tadi program um, Mentari Teachers Academy. Ada minggu belajar bersama Mentari Teachers Academy, uh, 100 hari transformasi guru, dan teachers development. Jadi, untuk if, uh, info yang lebih lanjut, nanti Bapak dan Ibu bisa kontak ke Mentari Teachers Academy ya. Oke, okay, terima kasih banyak sudah menghabiskan sedikit waktunya untuk mendengarkan program-program dari Mentari Teachers Academy. Oke, okay, sekarang saya akan memulai program trainingnya ya. Right, so I'm gonna deliver the training both in English and in Indonesian. Ya, yeah? so basically in my training, I don't like I don't like my my uh, my trainees to be just sit there doing nothing, not talking, not interacting with one another, okay? So somehow you need to unmute, somehow you're gonna need to, uh, what is that, to chat, and then sometimes you also need um, to move, uh, what is that, your hands, or to move parts of the body, of course, okay? So for Miss Mary and uh, Miss Eka, or Mr. Eka, I want you to, Uh, what is that? Turn the video on, gitu ya. Jadi kalau uh, videonya nggak nyala, gitu kita juga kesulitan untuk berinteraksi. So we are going to interact, okay? Right. So here we go. Right. So can everyone see it? Bisa dilihat ya, jelas ya. Nah. So in this topic for Minggu Belajar bersama, MT, uh, uh, bersama MTA, what I want to show you is that the art of teaching is the art of assisting discovery later on. Yeah? Because our topic is all about grammar teaching, which is not a cool subject for the students, especially for the students who do not like English, you know, and then also kind of like difficult for um, teaching online when you are teaching such a very uh, such a difficult concept of the grammar for example when you are teaching um, let's say conditionals or maybe when you are teaching the past perfect or maybe when you are teaching both comparative and superlative at the same time for example yeah so here we are going to try to help our students by um, guiding them into discovering uh, what is that the rules by themselves kind of like that So this is on only like a um, slight explanation about how to use Zoom. Somehow, um, if you see the icons, for example, you see the icons over here, so please mute your microphone, unmute your microphone, and then if you see uh, this icon, feel free to send message or just write the response in the chat box. And then if you see this, so uh, you're gonna be divided into the breakout rooms, yeah? And then if you see this, uh, you have to respond by raising your hands or if you want to ask questions. And then you can also find uh, what is that, the raise hand features at the, uh, uh, what is that, here we go, um, at the left button of your cell phone over there. And then um, if you see these icons too, uh, we are going to use Mintimeter today and quizzes. Uh, with Nearport, this is more or less the same actually. So. I'm just going to show you uh, what is that, what Nearport is like, but we are going to 
uh, interact using quizzes and Mintimeter modes. Okay, to start with, yep. So you just know my name. My name is Juliana, but you don't know everything about me, okay? Now I want you to get to know all about me by asking me the correct questions using the given cues. So the rules is that you can only ask me yes, no questions. Like for example, all of the words over here are all about me. It could be about my family. It could be about my work. It could be about my hobby. It could be about um, anything that I like, like places to visit, for example. So uh, let's take a look on Bali, for example. So the question that you can ask is kind of like, is Bali your favorite place? Uh, is Bali your favorite place, for example, kind of like that, yeah? Or maybe, do you want to visit Bali, for example? Is Bali memorable to you, kind of like that? So you're not supposed to ask questions like, um, where do you want to go if the pandemic is over, for example? So that's not the kind of questions. Now, what I want you to do is that I want you to send me the chat and then you just, uh, what is that? Ask me everything about all of the words that you see over here, yeah? So I'm gonna see your chat. Nah, kita lihat dulu chatnya ya. So now, Paul, can you help me because I cannot see the chat over here? Okay. So everyone, can you just unmute your uh, your microphone, please? Boleh di unmute. Okay. So Miss Cory, can you hear me well? Yes. Here. Yeah. Okay, Miss Dian. Yes. Yes. Okay, Miss Sabaria, Mr. Ferdi. Yeah. Can you hear me well? Yeah. Miss Mary. Yes, I do. Okay, Miss Dian. I do, Miss. Okay, uh -huh. Miss Devi. Okay, now, do you know what to do with this? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So right. Questions all of the words the are all about me, okay? So what I want you to do is uh, I want you to ask me questions using all of the words over there. So the question can be random. For example, I'm going to send you the chat, okay? So why I cannot send you the chat? Wait. Thank you. Bentar ya, ini jadi nggak bisa kirim chat. Nah, oke. Okay. Okay. So for example, the chat will be like this. Is Bali your favorite place to visit? For example, so I'm showing you in the chat, kind of like that, yeah? Yes. But everything is all about me. So you can okay. just, uh, for example, you are asking, uh, asking me question like, um, is Bali popular? So you are not going to ask question like that because that's not about me, okay? All of the words are related about me, okay? So you can just send me the chat, uh, whatever words that you want to ask. Okay? So it could be random, yeah? Okay. Now, can you start sending me the chat? Jadi dikirim saja chatnya. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna answer I've you later on, so I'm gonna show you, okay? Miss Dewi, can you send me the chat? Miss Dian, can you send me the chat? Uh, Mr. Ferdi, okay. Sure. No, I cannot see the chat, why? Do you think when you Miss Sabaria, can you send me the chat so you can just, uh, what is that? Ask me the questions using these words. Wait, yeah. So Nova, can you help me please? Because I cannot see the chats anymore unless I just stop Sorry. sharing this slide. Okay, wait. Um, yeah. So what kind of chat that you want to know, Miss Yuli? Because I want to know uh, what kind of questions that they ask me. So I need to answer them. Okay. So from Miss Dian, is 38 your shoe number? Yeah, that's true. Okay. okay. Is swimming your hobby? Uh, no, swimming is not my hobby. 
um, how long have you been teaching? So, um, uh, so that's not the question. I can only answer yes and no. <laughs> okay. Did you take your study in Canada? Uh, nope. Okay. Is making lesson plans your favorite part of teaching? Uh, not my favorite, but I need to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, can you just please uh, read me the question now, for So, any kind of question that you uh, can find. Do you have two children? Uh, nope. Okay. What else? Is Tomohon your hometown? No, Tomohon is not my hometown. What else? Okay, I think that's top, yeah. Stop, yeah. Okay. All right. So, kind of like Bali. Bali is like uh, the place that is most memorable to me. Thank you, Nofal. So, Bandung. Bandung is like my second home to me because I did a lot of activities there. Jakarta is the place that I visited the most before the pandemic. And Canada. Canada is kind of like the place that I uh, want to live in. And Tomohon is the for this uh, place that I visited while I uh, in Indonesia, and then I am 158 centimeters in height and 448 kilograms in weight. So my soul size is 23.5 centimeters, and then I have two nephews. And I don't like running; I cannot swim. I do yoga, but I want to do karate. I'm afraid of doing bungee jumping. Making lesson plan is part of my job and delivering the teacher training is my favorite things to do and I do some research too and um, sometimes I examine uh, what is that students for uh, what is that speaking exam. Yeah? Right, okay. So now let's see to another activity. So this one is true or false because all of you are English teachers. Now, um, you are not going to, uh, what is that, answer using uh, the chat anymore, but you are going to use uh, the movement, yeah? Kind of like uh, all of them are about uh, the English sentences, English statements, English knowledge, okay? The language knowledge. So if you think like the statement is true, so you just need to show two thumbs up, okay? Right, good. And then if the statement is false, so you just need to cross your hands in front of the camera, okay? And I really need you to do it, yeah? Okay, we're gonna do it together. So can you unmute yourself, please? Ah, you unmute dulu. Miss Alberia, can you unmute? Okay. And then Miss Nikmawati? Yeah, so Miss Mary? Okay, Mr. Ferdi, ready, yeah? Okay. Right, so let's see. So number one, a river is bigger than a stream. True or false? True, yeah. So a stream is smaller. Number two, found it is the past tense of found. Are you sure? True or false, Miss Diane? Miss Diane? Uh, true or false? <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, true. so let me see. Let us see. That's true. Kind of like, uh, it's not menemukan, it's mendirikan. Yep. Okay. And then what about improve? Oh, okay. Improve can be used both as a noun and as, and as a verb. Do you false. agree? False. False? Yeah. False. Okay, false. That's true this time. What about this one? Scarlet is a brilliant red color. Uh, true or false? false. True, false, okay, that one is true. And what about this one? Used to doing and used to do mean the same thing. True or false? False. Uh, false. False, okay, let's see, so yeah, that's false. Why false? What is the difference? Anybody knows? So, used to doing means terbiasa, sekarang terbiasa. Used to do means something your past, uh, what is that, uh, your activities in the past, something your habits in the past before now. Okay. Now, a dozen is equivalent to 20, is that correct or not? 
false. false. Okay, that's false. Uh, equivalent to is more or less the same as equal to. True, false. True, false. True. Okay. Lala semua jadi guru bahasa Inggris, gitu ya? Okay, right. Now, in engaging the student is quite hard, ya? Jadi kalau kita mau engage students untuk participate uh, secara aktif di dalam kelas grammar, itu lumayan setengah mati, apalagi mau dari SMP, SMA, gitu kan? So that's why uh, the training is meant to build, uh, what is that, the context of grammar. And then to provide tips on how to make the grammar exercise interactive and how to engage students through the process of discovery and to apply and participate in interactive online activities, ya. Yeah? Jadi nanti kita akan mempelajari ini semua. All right, okay. So now we're gonna go into Menti, uh, Mentimeter. So you're supposed to go to menti.com. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing it. And then we're gonna go into menti.com. So in menti.com, you are going to answer questions like, uh, how do you find your grammar teaching with your students? So is it interesting or it's not interesting? Kind of like that, okay? So I'm gonna present. All right, so you go to www.menti.com and use the code A3000714. Jadi semuanya pakai HP atau pakai apa namanya? Uh, pakai laptop juga boleh, nggak apa-apa gitu ya. But you can all, uh, you can also need uh, you can also use your cell phone and then go to menti.com and then uh, what's that? Hit the code. So I'm gonna wait for you, and then you have to answer it. Then we're gonna see uh, your answers. What is it on the screen? So what are the common perceptions about grammar lessons? So I'm gonna wait, yeah. Boring, difficult, okay. What else? Hmm. So I think you may also, uh, what is that, give more entry on it. Boring, difficult, okay, what else? Hi, Miss Neneng, welcome to the training. Miss Dewi, Bisa, Miss Dewi, difficult, okay. What else? Apalagi? Persepsinya kita nih, just fine, okay. Anything else? Ada lagi yang lain? Right. So Miss Nenen, you're supposed to go to www.menti.com and use the code over here, 83007148714, yeah. Okay, difficult, hard, uh, hard, confusing, okay. What else? Apa lagi? Coba. Jadi kita mau tahu nih, kalau ngajar grammar, menurut kalian nih sebagai guru bahasa Inggris itu seperti apa gitu ya. Difficult, just fine. Okay. So I'm gonna wait for about maybe one more minute. Okay. So Miss Nikmawati, Mr. Eka or Miss Eka, Miss Mary, Mr. Ferdi, if you have no problem with the connections, can you just turn the video on? Okay, hard, difficult. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, so this uh, may be the common perception about the grammar lesson, yeah? Boring, difficult, confusing, or maybe hard. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this for a while. So I'm gonna go, uh, what is that, exit, and we are going to go back into our uh, slideshow. Nah. Kalau sekarang membosankan nih, supaya nggak membosankan, gimana dong caranya? Gitu kan, pertanyaannya kan kayak gitu ya. Okay. So what do you usually do in the grammar lesson then? Terus kita harus ngapain gitu kan di kelas-kelas grammar kayak gini gitu ya. So what I wanted to do is I complete the sentence. So now, Fong, can you help me please? Uh, what is that? In case I cannot see the chat anymore, can you read me uh, what is that? The result of the uh, the chat, okay? Okay, sure. Okay, thank you. So a good grammar presentation should be like what? What do you think? Jadi grammar presentation yang baik itu harusnya seperti apa sih? Gitu. Menurut kalian seperti apa? 
So you can also chat. Uh, what okay. Send me the chat. It's supposed to be fun, said Miss Cory. Okay, and then what else? Lagi. Interactive and fun. It should be interactive and fun. Okay, what else? Engaging yeah. student. Sudah, itu aja ya. Okay. So, Miss Neneng, because you're still on, a good grammar presentation should be uh, should be like what, Miss? Harusnya seperti apa? Nah, okay. Miss Dian, Miss Dewi, okay, so I'm going to show you. So, first of all, it should be clear, memorable, and economical. I mean, like, clear in terms of meaning, ya. Yeah? Jadi artinya kan harus jelas gitu kapan kita makainya. Uh, the most common problem is that up until adult, you're gonna get your student trying to memorize the 16 tenses. Well, we do not use them, all of them, okay? And they do not know how to differentiate one tense with another. And they do not understand why do we have to use certain kind of structure with different kind of situation, kind of like that. And then, somehow built on what the learners already know. I mean, like, you need to build a context. You need to go in, the, you need to dig more into what the student already know, yeah? So that your grammar lesson will be relatable to them. And then include a focus on form and a focus on meaning. Jadi ada dua tuh, uh, formnya ada, meaningnya ada. Most of the time, we just uh, focus on the form, but we forget to focus on the meaning. And then include a statement of the rules too, just to, uh, what is that, restate that, okay, so this one is used for what, yeah? Well, in the practice later on, we are not going to be such a rigid grammar teacher. And when you are teaching grammar in an online lesson, so remember that you are going to use the same principles, the same stages, but different delivery and different practices, yeah? So, just reviewing basic principles for grammar teaching. Uh, usually the grammar teaching will have the E factor, that is a thesis, and the A factor, that is appropriacy. So you're gonna do both of them all together. Economy means kind of like, do you have quite a lot of time to prepare? Uh, so is it easy to deliver? And then are the student motivated or not? Because it will uh, influence the efficacy of the lesson. And then is it easy to prepare? And then whether the task is easy to do or the instructions are hard to follow, kind of like that, yeah? So that's why the stages of teaching grammar, it's kind of like more or less uh, the same like present, practice, and produce, but I'm gonna use engage, you engage first, then you're gonna study together, and then you're gonna activate together, yeah? In engage, you're gonna get the learner's interest first rather than you perform them with the form. Jadi kita maunya bukan yang didaktif, meskipun itu cara yang paling paling cepat gitu ya. Cepat tapi kan bukan berarti dia cara yang paling efektif gitu ya. Uh, you're gonna do context building, you're gonna do personalization. So in other words, you're gonna present. And then after you can engage your students, then you're gonna help them to study. So look at the target, la uh, target language, notice how it looks and sounds, and make sure that the learners can reproduce it accurately. So this one is the practice and produce stages. And then after that, usually in our offline classroom, we have activities that promote communication that everyone can speak together. It can also involve writing and speaking, yeah? So this one is produced. So for example, you have the role play. For example, you have writing a paragraph. But later when you are uh, moving into the online teaching, perhaps you're gonna eliminate certain kind of activities to activate the students. You're gonna need to modify all of the activities. So those activities that you are going to practice today. Now, uh, if we are breaking down all of uh, the engaged study and activate stages, so first of all, we are going to build the context of the grammar. And then after that, we're gonna model the sentence, yeah? Jadi bukan yang kebalik, jadi kita bukan dari model sentence baru building the context, kita akan build the context dulu baru model the sentence. And then we're gonna highlight the meaning. We're gonna highlight the spoken form, checking the understanding, 
And then after that, we're going to highlight the written form. And then after that, we're going to summarize the rules. And then we're going to start with the uh, control practice or base selected practices. And then we're going to give them some feedback. And then we're going to allow them to free of practice. And then we're going to give feedback again, kind of like that. But all of the stages are not, um, are not really strict. I mean, like, uh, of course, we're going to start from building the context. But after that, perhaps you're going to go into highlighting the meaning before modeling the sentence. That will be OK. Yeah. But first of all, we're going to do this one. OK. Now, in online learning, here are, uh, what is that, three examples of building the context. Did you building context? OK, apa sih? Gitu kan? So now you are going to pretend to be my students, yeah, the secondary one. I need you to unmute your microphone. OK. Mas Rido, can you help me to unmute them? Right. Jadi pura-pura ini jadi students gitu ya sekarang ya. Oke. Kalau lagi spell musik, musiknya di masing ya. Hai, Miss Alvia. Miss Sabaria, can you unmute? Miss Neneng, can you unmute? Hey, Miss Eka, all right. Good. Uh, Miss Nikmawati, kalau lagi main musik jangan ya. So suppose you're my students ya, yeah? murid uh, SMP, oke? Okay? Alright, ready ya? Yeah? So good afternoon okay. everybody, how are you today? Good afternoon oh, Miss, I'm good. Good afternoon Miss. Oke, okay, good ya. Yeah? So today, we gonna learn about a future wheel for the prediction. Okay. Here are the sample sentences. There will be more digital meetings. The school will have two learning systems, offline and online. People will be more cautious, uh, cautious about health. That's it. So we talk about will for the future, for prediction. Okay? All right, everyone? Okay, that's the first presentation, yeah? Now we're going to go into presentation two. Now, everyone, I want you to answer my questions orally, right? So I have several questions that I want you to answer. What will happen in the next year? What do you think in, 2000, uh, in 2021? What will happen? Um, the pandemic will be over. The pandemic will be over. What else? The school will open. The school will open, OK. What else? Sorry? Students will back to school. The students will go back to school, yeah, perhaps, okay. Then, my next question is that, what will change in the next 10 years? What will change in the next 10 years? Okay, uh, Ferdi, so you try. What is it, Ferdi? What will change? I will be a policeman, year? miss. You will be the policeman in the next 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what else? Sylvia, what will change in the next 10 years, Sylvia? Um, there will be flying cars. There will be flying cars, perhaps, yeah? Sabaria, what will change in the next 10 years? I will have three children. You will have three children. Belum apa apa sih sabar ya mikir punya tiga anak lagi ya kan? Okay. So what will you look like? Sorry. What will you look like in the next five years? Ferdi, nah. what will you look like in the next five years, Ferdi? My masters will be great, Miss. Okay. Your masters will be great, right? Yeah. <laughs> ya sudah tambah tua ya, Cory. Yeah. Cory, what, what will you look like in the next five years, Cory? I will be slimmer. <laughs> okay, you will be slimmer. Dian, what will you look like in the next five years, Dian? I will I will look um, the best that I can look. Oh, I will look younger, you. maybe. Okay. <laughs> Nene, what will you look like in the next 10 years, Nene? I cannot hear your voice. Perhaps you need to, uh, what is that, take off the... Yeah. Be uh, more mature. Oh, you're going to be more mature. <laughs> Jangan sampai lebih kecil, ya. Okay. So, Eka, Eka, what will you look like in the next uh, five years, Eka? Uh, I'm going to have uh, many business. You're going to have what? Uh, many, uh, some of the 
bigger biggest business. Oh, you gonna have bigger business. Duh, masih SMP udah mikir bisnis duitnya kan? Gak apa-apa, oke okay, ya? Alright, oke. Okay. Now, that's presentation two. Oke, okay? think about that. So, compare it with my first presentation. Now, I'm gonna go into presentation three. This is a little bit, a little bit longer. So, stay uh, unmuted, oke? Okay? So, now, in presentation three, ya? Yeah? So, now, in the pandemic, uh, what is that, era, you see that more people are going... Oh, what is that? Cycling, you know. Who likes going cycling? Siapa yang suka naik sepeda sekarang? Ada yang suka? Wow, Fred, you naik sepeda. Selfie, do you like cycling? Nana, yes, do you like it? It's yeah. true. Okay, no, not really. Really too? All right, okay. Now, if every, uh, it seems like everybody is going cycling. And you know Brontom? Brontom is becoming very popular in Indonesia. Well, if you know the price, can it be... You're going to be expensive because it's very expensive. Yeah. Okay. Now, kalau sekarang aja yang naik sepeda tuh banyak. Gara-gara kenapa sih orang kok naik sepeda sekarang tuh kenapa? Why people are uh, going cycling right now? Kenapa? Healthy. Yeah, healthier lifestyle maybe yeah. Yeah, healthier lifestyle. Okay. Tapi kita mau lihat nih. Bertahan oh, sampai tahun depan apa enggak ya gitu kan? Okay. Yeah. So, so now we are going to see ya. Nah kalau tahun depan, so next year, will cycling still be a trend? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes. Yes. Yes, I think yeah? yes. Yes. Why? Yeah. Probably yes. Probably ya. Yeah. Why? 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 Because cycling is the most fun sport to do. Okay, fun, mm -hmm. easy to do. Yeah, you don't need the, a lot of uh, what is that? A lot, of, a lot of rules to do it. You can just do it anytime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, my question is that. So once again, what will happen next year with uh, our current trend? Is uh, will cycling still be popular next year? Yes or no? Yeah. I said yes. Yes, okay. So now, my question is that, is it a fact or just a Money. prediction? Money. Oh, wallet. Is it a fact or is it a prediction? Prediction. Which one? Prediction. Prediction, prediction yeah? Yes. yes. How do you make that prediction? There. By using will. Will, okay. You are using will. Okay. But before you make a prediction, how do you? Uh, how can you predict that? Okay, so yes. next year I think cycling will still be popular because of what? Oh, bisa bikin kesimpulan gitu ya? It's something in the future. Yeah, because you, uh, what is that? You see the fact, present fact, right now, and then you make the prediction. Yeah. And then are you certain that it will absolutely happen? Not really. Not really. Not really. Okay, not really, yeah. But so which stand do you use to talk about the prediction? Future. So future tense. Future what? Future be going to? Future will? Future will. Future, future, future will. will. Future will. Yes. Okay, very good everyone. Okay, so now. Which grammar presentation among the three of them that is more engaging to you? Why? You may chat me in the chat box or you can just answer it, okay? Jadi, uh, Naufal, can you help me please to see the chat uh, again? Jadi, dari tiga tadi, presentation mana yang menurut Bapak dan Ibu itu menarik gitu, yang engaging gitu, presentation one. Saya cuma ngomong, there will be lah. Presentation 2, I'm asking you questions. Presentation 3, I'm using the pictures and using the current situation. Which one? Presentation 3. Okay. The third. Question 2. The third. Three. Presentation 2. Presentation 3. Okay. Why? Sekarang, pertanyaannya kan itu. Why? It's more engaging. Yeah, why it is more engaging? Uh, you ask to the students um, uh, apa, something that uh, that is more to them. Yeah, kind of like oh, something that is more personal, yeah? 
Yeah. 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 More personal. Okay, yes. more personal mm -hmm. and then more current too, and mm -hmm. then real too, kind of like that. Okay. Yes, Mr. Ferdi, why did you choose number two? Because I like the teacher when they um, bring me into the situation, uh, to the class. Yeah. Okay, so because you like to be uh, brought in into the situation, yeah? Yes. So that's what, we, uh, what I mean by building the context. So first of all, when you are building the context, look at the function of the structure and the meaning of the words. Okay. Jadi ini fungsinya buat apa? And then what kind of situation that will fit the structure in Indonesia especially, yeah? And then number two, know your students' interests. What do your students like? Do they like Korean drama? Use them. Do they like, uh, what is that? Um, Hollywood actor or actresses or movies? Use it, okay? And then uh, the third one is that use the actual condition in which your students live. So, for example, if you are living in Makassar, for example, you cannot use the same situation like in Jakarta. So, it's kind of like different. Kalau kita misalnya nih, presentasinya tuh make situasi yang ada di buku yang mungkin tidak sesuai dengan uh, apa kondisi uh, sekitarnya, mereka tuh juga nggak bisa relate gitu ya. Ini maksudnya apa? Ngomong apa? Gitu kan? And then the next one is that involve the students in the making of the context. Like what uh, Mr. Ferdi said, um, he likes it when the teacher involves him in the teaching. Your students also like it too. Especially the secondary students, they like to be acknowledged. Yeah? And the last one is that breaks the differences of custom or cultures. So you need to understand that all of the English books uh, made by, for example, the Cambridge or Oxford, Pearson, Macmillan, and whatever books from uh, foreign countries, they are produced for, uh, what is that, for general uses, yeah? So there might be the content that you think kind of like, this is so, uh, so strange, this is so alien for me. So you can just bridge the differences. For example, when you are teaching, uh, what is that? The weather, the geographical terms, for example. The geographical terms for the America and Indonesia will be different. So you're gonna need to bridge that differences too. Or maybe the seasons, um, what is that, in the European countries and the seasons in Asia are different. You're going to need to bridge them too, kind of like that, yeah? So, but why you are teaching through context building? So, first of all, it clarifies meaning. Use all for, uh, use and form all together. And then the <laughs> students are actually involved in the learning process and they are more likely to be attentive and motivated, yeah? And then work, working things out of for themselves. So we will prepare the students for thinking and independent learning. Jadi daripada muridnya tuh kayak uh, terus-terusan bergantung sama kita gitu kan. Pada saat-saat seperti ini mereka perlu untuk self-reliant gitu ya. Kan? Jadi kita mau melatih mereka lewat cara kita mengajar. Sebenarnya maunya kayak gitu. Okay. Now, when you are checking your students' understanding, what do you ask? Kira-kira pertanyaannya gimana? So you can also send me the chat. So now, Val, please help me to check the chat, ya. Yeah? Kalau kita mau ngecek uh, muridnya udah pada ngerti atau belum, ya. ya uh, pertanyaannya seperti apa? So what do you ask them? So how do you ask that? So, okay, so I'm going to pick one. Miss Sylvia? So I'm going to unmute you. <laughs> okay. So, Miss? Yes. Yeah, so if you want to check your students' understanding, what is your question to them? Uh, can you make example of a sentence using will? Oh, okay. I, I, so, I, I give one example first and then... Yeah. Will, okay, example. that's okay. also one way. Yeah? Thank you, Miss Alfia. Yeah. Okay. So, Miss Alfia, pick one person to talk. Uh, how about Diane? Okay, Miss Dian, can you unmute yourself, Miss Dian? So, so basically, 
Yeah, so basically, um, almost the same. So I, I will ask, um, like, uh, could they give an example or can they form um, the sentence that you just learned before? Okay, right, okay. So this is the one more person. Miss um, Dewi. Miss Dewi. Miss Dewi. Okay, Miss Dewi, can you unmute? Okay, I'm gonna unmute you. Alright, so Miss Dewi, how, uh, what kind of question do you ask your students when you want to check their understanding? I cannot hear you, Miss Dewi. Kayaknya dilepas coba earphone-nya. Halo Miss Dewi. We have um, the response from Miss Sabria. She okay. uh, do you have any questions? Oh, do you have any questions? Okay, that's also one of the question. Uh, Miss Dewi, can you answer it? Kayaknya earphone-nya mungkin perlu dilepas. Hmm? Okay, so anyway, yeah. In checking understanding, with your students, if we ask question like, do you understand what will be the response? Responnya cuma, yes, I understand. Do you get it? Yes. Yeah. Selalu seperti itu, kan? But when you ask them to do the exercise, what happened? They don't understand. They don't know what to do. Yeah. So that's one. When you are checking the questions, you're going to need to do the concept checking question. For example, the, the sentence is cycling will be, uh, what is that, less popular, for example, next year. So the question will be, is it happening right now? Or is it happening, um, what is it, in the future? Is it a fact or is it a prediction? Yeah, that will be the questions. So we are, uh, and then the next question could be, uh, do you base your prediction on present event or fact? And then uh, another question could be, which stand do you use to talk about the prediction? So it means like when you are checking the understanding, you ask about the meaning. Yeah, you ask about how to you uh, how to use it, and you ask the form too. But ini tiga hal yang akan kita masukkan uh, ke dalam pertanyaan kita ke concept checking questions tadi. Yeah, so more examples on the concept checking questions on cycling will be less popular next year will be kind of like this. Do we talk about past, present, or future? Just to make sure that. They know. So we are not talking about past. We are not talking about something in the present. We are talking about something in the future. Yeah. And then the next question could be, is it happening now? No. Is it a routine? No, it's not a routine. Is it a fact? No, it's not a fact either because you don't know because it's not yet happening. Is it a prediction? Yeah. So how do you make the prediction? Based on the fact, on the present fact. And then which stand do you use to talk about the prediction? Future will. Which form comes after will? Foot one. Kind of like that. So you just make sure that they understand. After these questions, then like just Miss Sophia and Miss Dian did, you can just ask them, okay, now I wanted to make one sentence with will predicting what will happen to you in the next 10 years, for example, yeah? So when you are asking your students to create a sentence, sample sentence, just give them a context too, kind of like, okay, give me the sample. What will you be in the next 20 years, for example, okay? So it's kind of like clear, yeah? All right. Now, um, so we come into practicing grammar. Nah, tambahin lagi, gitu kan? If you are practicing the grammar, the easiest way is that you ask your students to do uh, to open their books, do the exercise, and you do it together. Paling gampang kan, gitu ya? Paling gak banyak makan waktu. But we want to make it not boring. Just like what you said earlier, that teaching grammar is boring. Practicing grammar is difficult and boring. So we are trying not to make it boring anymore. So make sure. Also in practicing, you are also engaging, interactive, and motivating too. Be appeal to different learning preferences. So remember that your students might be audiovisual. They might be visual. They might be kinesthetic. They might be, uh, what is that, social. They might be individual. So you're going to need to know your students well. And your practices later on will cover some of them. 
So it's impossible for you to capture everyone in the room, yeah? So you use it to uh, define the focus, like for example, okay, so today's practice is for the visual learner. So tomorrow's practice will be more into audiovisual students, kind of like that. It could be, yeah? And then enhance the memory or recall. It means like you're going to do a lot of drilling, but what kind of drilling that you can do that is um, motivating and also kind of like not boring. So you're going to need to do it later on, yeah? And then practice the structures using all four skills, if possible. Kan kalau di buku tuh pasti listening-nya, uh, reading, writing, dan speaking, all of them are going to use the same structure, actually, yeah? So use four of them if possible. But if not possible, I mean like you do not need to use all of them. But maybe today I'm just going to focus on speaking. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to focus on writing. And today I'm just going to combine reading and listening. That will be okay. So uh, here are the possible online grammar practices that I did in my tra my teacher training. Yeah. So I practices uh, I practice this to my inet classes. So say the sentences out loud. I like this kind of exercise for accuracy, and then also uh, this is also good for the students who are shy. Buat anak yang malu malu. Kenapa? Jadi anak tuh kalau uh, kenapa mereka tuh malu karena takut kedengeran sama temannya. Kalau salam takut diketawain gitu kan? So just to cover the voice, so we gonna talk as a crowd. Jadi kita mau ngomong sebagai satu grup yang gede. Yang pasti ngomong paling keras adalah anak yang memang suka uh, what is that? The students who are really loud, but the students who are shy because they we cannot hear the voice anywhere, so they are trying to imitate to follow. Biasanya mereka mau. And then half conversation is still possible. If you have only, for example, 15 or maybe 10 students. But in half conversation, you're going to need to define your students before the class. Jadi sebelum kelas, uh, you're going to need to show, uh, what is that, the slide. Okay, group A, here we go with group A, nomor 1 sampai 10. Group B, nomor 11 sampai 20, gitu ya. Namanya udah ada. So you do not need to, uh, what is that, you do not need to define them on spot. Jadi kalau misalnya kita lagi... Uh, online kayak gini, kemudian mau dibagi grup kan susah tuh. So we are, uh, what we are going to do is that before the class begin, divide them into groups already. So they do not have any choice, they have to follow you, yeah? Gap completion is still possible. You can also use another platform too, like quizzes, Nearpod, uh, Mintimeter too, or maybe Kahoot. And then true false statement, like the earlier activity that we did, uh, what is it in the beginning of our training? That's true false statement. You can also use movement to answer kind of like to thumbs up, or cross it, or maybe you can also use uh, the platforms too, or you can just ask them to answer using the chat box. Yeah. 20 questions are also still possible. So you can just open them, uh, open the microphone, uh, get them ask you the questions. And then chain question and answer are still possible. So we did it earlier. Remember when I asked what, uh, Miss Salvia to pick one, uh, one, one participant to answer? That's kind of like que uh, chain question and answer. Jadi muridnya yang milih bukan saya yang milih, gitu ya. Correct the mistake too. And then reordering the sentences. Semuanya masih possible untuk online. So, yeah. so we, now we're going to do it, okay? So Rido, can you help me to be, uh, what is that, to change me into the host? Because we are going to do the breakout room later on. Now everyone, can you unmute yourself? Unmute semua ya. Bye. Right, so now you're going to be, uh, what is that? Uh, the secondary students, yeah? So suppose you are going to be the student, two, so student grade 9, okay? Right? All right, okay. So good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Miss. All right, okay. So how are you today? I'm great. Great. Okay, so Dallas, yeah, biasanya. Sleepy, Miss. Yeah, how are you? Jawabannya sama. I'm fun, thank you. And you, Miss? Good. Not wrong, but there are a lot of ways to answer, okay? 
All right, so everyone. So I have a little story for you. This is actually a secret, but I'm going to let you know. So do you know that one of your friends, Cory? Cory, are you there? Oh, okay. Yes, I'm here. So do you know that Cory had a secret date last night? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. So who is that? Me. Last night, yeah. From six to nine p.m., Cory had a date. Yeah. But because uh, what is that? Cory cannot do it. Um, what is that? Uh, on spot. So Cory couldn't go to the restaurant. So he she had to do it online. Jadi dia ngedatenya online sekarang. And then do you know who her uh, who her date was? Captain America. Captain America. Yeah, that's right. I, that's me. Oh, ini masa sih, ini masa Verdi sih. Tapi di sini beda loh Verdi loh, nggak ada mastersnya, gitu ya. So Cory had the date with Captain America with Chris Evans, ya. Yeah. Oke, okay. keren ya. Siapa yang nggak pengen coba? Oke. Okay. So, when was the date? My question is, when was the date? Last night. Last night. Oke, okay. last night. What time? Six to nine. Six to nine. Six to nine. Six to nine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now the question is that what was Corey doing at 7 p.m. last night? Oh, yeah. 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 Now, another question is that, did she start the date before 7 p.m.? Yes. 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 Yes.
that has past continuous in it. Okay? Right. Ready ya? Yeah, we try. Go. Silakan. So you are going to type all of the sentences that has past continuous in it. Send me through the chat. So Nafa, please help me to see uh, what is that? Uh, to see the chat, yeah? Siapa yang udah jawab? So I'm gonna waiting for you. So you have to type this time on the chat. Yeah. No fall. Is there anyone uh, sending the chat? Yeah. Not yet. Okay. Okay. It's so you're yeah, supposed to look at this sentence, and you are supposed to send me uh, what is that? The chat. Kalimat mana yang ada pas continuousnya? So can you send me the chat, please? For yes. Romy Selfia, Mary Anderson. Okay. Yeah. Mary Anderson and a friend were driving to New York. And okay. And Mary Anderson and a friend were driving to New York. Same sentence. Miss Sabria yeah. were driving to New York. Same with okay. Miss Mawati. Okay. Okay. Miss Neneng in 1903, Mary Anderson and a friend were driving to New York. Mr. Ferdi were driving, uh, was raining from Miss Sabria and Miss Daisy. It was okay. raining heavily from Miss Nenek and Miss Tikmawati. Okay, very good everyone. Now we're gonna try once more, yeah? What about this one? Uh, send me the chat again. So now for, please read for me, okay? Find the sentences that has past continuous. Okay, we have was trying from Miss Sabria. Okay. Thomas Adams was trying, Miss Daisy, Miss mm -hmm. Nigma, same uh, answer. Okay. Was thinking, Miss Abaria, mm -hmm. Miss Neneng, and Miss uh, Dian say Thomas Adams was trying to produce rubber. Okay. Was working, Miss Abaria. Yep. Okay. While well, he was thinking from okay. Miss Nigma and Miss Selvia. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Nova. All right. Good job, everybody. So that's also one uh, exercise that you can do with your students, including reading, yeah? So this time, we are going to do a memory game, okay? So in this memory game, I'm going to show you a picture of a classroom. So in that classroom, several go uh, girls are doing something. So I've already put them the names on them. What you are going to do is that you are going to try to remember it. If possible, you can also take notes. But you have only 30 seconds to look at the picture. And then after that, I'm going to remove the picture. Okay? Ready? Yeah? And send me the chat again. So this time you have to make your own sentences. Okay. Here is the picture. What were the people doing? Okay. So 20 seconds. Right. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, right. So now you have to send me the chat. What were the people doing? So now, Paul, please help me to read the sentences later on, yeah? Okay. Okay, right. Ada yang ingat? If you cannot remember, that will be okay. Try it, okay? Yeah. They were reading from Miss Abaria. Okay, Zoe, they were reading anyway. Yes. Louis was writing. Uh, yes. Jenny was explaining the thing to her friends. Very good. Mel was reading. They were okay. having project. Yeah. Anita was talking to Rose. Mel Very was good. reading. Okay. Anything else? Cindy was standing. Okay. Right. So. Very good, everybody. So that's also one exercise if you want your student to create sentences, yeah? I mean, like, provide something, provide the prompt so that they know what kind of sentences that you expect from them. So why using pictures? So usually in past continuous is that something was happening and then I removed that, yeah? Jadi kayak kita tuh seolah-olah melihat film, seolah-olah kita melihat gambar sebelum sekarang, gitu ya? So now, we are trying to use the joining breakout rooms after this. What you are going to do is that you are going to do a group interview. 
So before you go into the uh, breakout room, what I want you to do is that I want you to take notes on all of the questions or maybe, if possible, if you are using the laptop, you can just uh, take pictures of the questions, okay? So the question will be, what were you doing at 7 a.m. yesterday, for example? So all of the, the questions will be, I was, I don't know, I was taking a bath, for example. I was eating breakfast, for example, yeah? Di foto aja, biar cepat. And then after this, we are going to go into breakout rooms. So you're supposed to uh, ask your friends one another, and then later on, you are going to try to find out who has the same answers as you. Jadi cari siapa yang jawabannya sama. And then try to find someone who has the most unusual activity, okay? So you're supposed to find one, uh, the one who was doing the same activities like you, the one who was doing the most unusual or strange activities, yeah? All right, sudah difoto semuanya? Kalau sudah kasih jempol, sudah? Okay, so we are going to go into the breakout room, yeah? Right, okay. Ah. Yep. Signing participants, okay. So now you're going to go into the breakout rooms, okay? And then you have to unmute your phone, uh, your microphone, yeah, over there. I'm gonna go there after this. Kalau Naval mau join ke breakout room juga boleh ya. Oh gitu. Dan di breakout room Miss Yuli butuh aku assist atau gimana? Butuh assist juga, cuman mau ngeliatin ini dikerjain apa kagak gitu aja sih. Oh gitu. Ini aku pindahin aja, cuman berdua ini. Oke, coba aku ke satu ya. Nah, jadi cuman ada dua breakout room ya. Oke. So I'm gonna go into breakout room two.
So, Mas Ridu, are you there? Yes, Miss. Kok aku nggak bisa ini ya, Mas Ridu? Ya, apa namanya? Nggak uh, bisa kayak ngelihat chat kalau misalnya full screen gitu ya? Iya, arti oh. jangan full screen. Oh, jadi aku nggak full screen aja lain kali ya? Iya. Oke. Okay. Berarti aku langsung di, uh, aku escape aja nggak full screen gitu supaya aku bisa lihat kali ya Mas, uh, Mas Rido ya? Oke, okay, thank you. Ini udah nih, Miss. Ini ya, ya, udah nih. Uh, aku aku reklam host dulu ya. Aku jalanin ya. host, Miss. Oke. Okay. Jadi sekarang aku nggak perlu jadi host. Mereka bisa balik apa enggak ya? Nanti kalau Miss tutup bisa kok langsung. Iya, makanya langsung sih harusnya balik. Kalau mereka nggak bisa, uh, mereka bisa langsung lift juga kok otomatis. Tadi kan uh-uh. aku balik langsung. Nah, ini udah balik. Welcome back, Miss Dewi. Yes, oh. welcome back everyone. Welcome back, Miss Lene. Hey, welcome back, Miss Kori. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to wait for the others, yeah. So that we're gonna go. Uh, what is that into uh, more activities? So welcome back, Miss Lacy. Yes, Miss. Yes. Now, how was it? Yes, Miss. How was it, Miss Lacy? Yes, I'm here. Uh, I mean, like, uh, did your friend talk with you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Miss Cory, how did you find it? Did your friend talk with you a lot? Yes, actually, but we have to go back to the main room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So, yeah, kind of like uh, for you to experience um, uh, like what, what you you need, uh, what do you want your students to do? So, how do you feel about having this kind of activities? Yeah, kind of like if you are experiencing this, so what kind of modification that you can do to your students later on? Yeah, right. Now, um, Miss, uh, so Miss Desi, Miss Desi, I wanted to share. So, who has the same acti- uh, Who did the same activity like you? Siapa? No one, Miss. No one. No one. No one. <laughs> okay. no one. Everybody was doing something different, yeah. 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 So, yeah. who was doing something strange? Who was doing something unusual? Unusual. Uh. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, 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 was doing so so. Yeah. Something common. Something in common. Okay. okay, right. So, what were uh, what were ev- uh, what was everyone doing at 7 a.m. yesterday? Oh yeah. You were having breakfast. Oh, okay. They were having breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but it was uh, a strange thing that Mr. Ferdi did. Okay. He was, was uh, he was setting his bird trap. Oh, okay. He said, he, he said that he is a bird collector, so he was setting his bird trap. Oh, you were setting your bird mm. traps. Okay. Yeah. Did you I did. Ask him sekarang, yeah? Okay, my class. Right. right, so now I'm going to share. Uh, what is that? So I'm going to continue, yeah? Anyway, you are doing good job, okay? Now, you're still, uh, what is that, in the story, for example. So you have um, past continuous, yeah? So this time you are going to, uh, what is that? To contrast it with the past simple. So still remember that Corey was having a date between 6 to 9 p.m., yeah? But suddenly at 8.30 p.m., Chris's mother was calling. Jadi mengganggu aja nih si ibunya, gitu kan? Cuman mau ngecek si anaknya nih lagi ngapa, gitu kan? Okay, so... Remember the uh, what is that uh, the situation? Yeah. So before now, last night between six to nine, uh, Corey and Chris were having dinner. But then at eight thirty p.m., Chris uh, Chris's mom called. Ibunya uh, nelfon gitu kan. So which one that happened first? Corey and Chris had dinner or Chris's mom called? Yang pertama yang mana? Corey and Chris have dinner. Very good. Okay. Uh-huh. So, 
Yeah, for the first event, we are using past continuous, ya. Yeah? But which one is interrupting? Yang menginterupsi yang mana? The mother. The mother, ya biasalah kalau ibu mertua tuh kan memang begitu ya. Yeah? Ya, yeah? so we can say, while Corey and Chris were having dinner, Chris's mom called. Nah, jadi yang menginterupsi kita pakai past simple, yang kejadian duluan sedang berjalan kita pakai past continuous, ya. Yeah? Hey, now question is that. So you can just ask the question kind of like this. The same question, actually. So now, uh, the next question could be like, question for the tenses. Which stand do we use for the first event? The past continuous, yeah? And which stand do we use for the later it, uh, event? Past simple. So when you just put them, uh, what is that? Uh, put all of the questions on screen, your student will understand the meaning. Jadi mereka akan lebih mengerti artinya daripada ngafalin formnya. Okay, so we're gonna try it, yeah. Uh, I want you to unmute again, okay. This time we are going to say the sentences out loud, ya. Yeah? Kalau salah nggak apa-apa, suaranya kagak kedengeran, Miss Yuri juga nggak bisa denger, gitu ya. But if you have very loud voice, so please do. What you are going to do is that I have several sentences over here and see this, uh, the word in the bracket. You are going to change that into past continuous or past simple depending on the sentence. For example, number one, I make my dog his dinner when you call. Past continuous or past simple? Past continuous. Uh, what will it be? I was making, I was making my dog my his dog. dinner when you call. Very good. So I was making my dog his dinner when you call. Yeah? So you can see it together, yeah? Miss Alvia, Miss Daisy, can you unmute? Yeah, okay, good. What about number three? My grandmother, my grandmother, my grandmother was dancing to a Michael Jackson CD. Michael Jackson dancing to a Michael Jackson I arrived. Okay. My grandmother was dancing, dancing to the Michael Jackson CD when I arrived. Number three, what about this one? The cats, the cats, the cats were, sitting were sitting on the, the top of the top piano, piano, so I couldn't play. Could 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 Very good, the cats were sitting on the top of the piano, so I couldn't play. Jadi yang mau main piano dulu atau kucingnya ada di piano dulu? Kucingnya ada di piano dulu. Kucingnya ada di piano dulu. So that's why you are using the past continuous with the cats, yeah? What about this one? Nigel. Nigel was trying to do his homework on the bus. Very good. Nigel was trying to do his homework on the bus. Very good, everyone. Yeah. So right after this, you can ask your students to, okay, now open your book on page, for example, 10. I want you to do exercise 2. The same thing like what you did on the screen. Jadi ada ngomong, ada nulis, kayak gitu ya. Or you can just, uh, uh, what is that, use this exercise as a homework. Karena udah dikerjain secara verbal. Jadi belum dikerjain secara tertulis. Make it as a homework. Ya? Ini dari buku sebuahnya soalnya. Right, so now, with the quizzes and near part, what you can do is that you can do matching sentences, reordering sentences, changing the verb forms, choose the correct questions, or maybe get completion, yeah? After this, we are going to do quizzes, okay? With quizzes, what you are going to do is get completion. Now, I'm going to stop sharing this. I'm going to go into quizzes. So everyone, you are going to wait. I'm looking for my own. That's fine. Oops. That's fine. Wait, yeah? Oh, okay. Wait, what happened with my screen? Wait. Okay. So with the quizzes, what I want you to do is that now, uh, with quizzes, what is good about this is that you can play it live or you can just assign homework. It means like your students gonna do on their own pace, tapi nanti ada waktunya gitu ya. But now we are going to do it online, yeah? So we're gonna play it live. Now prepare your uh, gadget. We are going to do it, uh, what is that, online?
you just need to go into joinmyquiz.com and then enter the game code 02088 uh, I'm going to start when most of everyone is here. Jadi semuanya akan dimulai kalau semuanya udah pada ngumpul di sini gitu ya. So we're going to go into joinmyquiz.com. Okay, so I'm waiting for the players to join the game. So this game, uh, using quizzes is far easier and then uh, not as um, heavy as Nearpod. Nearpod is very, very dense, kind of like, because you can combine with the uh, slides too. Okay, Miss Nenang is here. What about the others? Bisa ikutan? Okay, Miss Alfia is here too. Okay, Miss Cory is here. Now, what about Miss Sabaria, Miss Dian? Can you join? Miss Mary, where are you? Miss Eka, are you here? Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna wait for some more, yeah. Miss Desi, can you join, Miss Desi? Okay, Miss Dewi, can you join? Mr. Ferdi, can you join Mr. Ferdi? Okay. Ah, finally, Mr. Ferdi. Okay. All right, Miss Dian. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start, yeah? Now look at your phone. Or look at this, your screen. So if you cannot join, then I'm going to show you the question. So here are the questions, yeah, if you cannot see in case uh, you cannot join. Well, the teacher right on board, Toby, fall asleep. So you just need to type the questions. Use the comma if you want to. So in answering, you just need to use comma, kind of like, uh, for example, was writing comma fell, for example. Okay, so we're gonna see. Who yeah, I was now. using the comma, but it was wrong. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you uh, what is it, the answers anyway later on. Okay, that's okay. Just uh, go on. Okay, so we're gonna continue, yeah? We're gonna wait, okay? Ah, Miss Sophia is almost there. Okay. All right, done everyone? For all English teachers, that's quite easy again. So we're gonna see. Okay, so I'm gonna wait just uh, for about 30 more seconds and then after that, I'm gonna show you uh, what is that, the answers. So one modification that you can do with this kind of question is that you can just put them into multiple choices, yeah? But if you want your students to have an exercise on the spelling too, so this is the best exercise for them. Jadi kadang-kadang karena mereka itu juga spellingnya salah-salah gitu kan? So that's why um, I choose the fill in the blanks instead of choose the correct answer questions. Okay. So I'm gonna end it now, okay? Ah, so we're gonna see who is the winner. So the winner will be Miss Elfia. All right, okay, good job, Miss Elfia. 
So now we're gonna see the uh, the questions kind of like uh, we're gonna preview the question, yeah. Okay. So was writing oh okay. So Miss Cory, it's actually kind of like the problem of um, this one, the capital letter. So I think because the answers will be all of in the small letters. So yeah, ini nggak enaknya kalau uh, kita pakai quizzes gitu ya. Tiba-tiba uh, salah gitu kan. But like this one, it was okay. Yeah. Nah, so, yeah. so it's kind of confusing. <laughs> <laughs> so he can also check. So you can yes. also check with your student. Yeah, Kelly was having a shower when her mobile phone ring, uh, rang, for example. So you can just go through with all of the questions, but you are all doing good. Gitu ya? Meskipun ini ada yang salah, misalnya. So dibenerin. Nah, okay. Good job, everybody. So this is kind of like uh, what's that? The question with near pot will almost be the same. Kind of like you're gonna have lesson in near pot. You're gonna have lesson in Google Slides. Yeah, tipenya sama. Jadi nanti kita juga bisa pakai polling, pakai quiz. More or less just the same. So it depends on you which one that you want to use uh, uh, more popular into your students to use. Jadi yang lebih gampang yang mana buat muridnya nanti hanya itu aja, gitu ya. So that's kind of like the sample of the activity. Now, another sample kind of like, so the activity that you can put into quizzes is joining the sentences. Cuman ini bakal lebih lama, so I'm going to use this as a homework to my students instead of, uh, daripada kayak mereka tuh ngumpulin tugasnya gini ya. So you ask them to do uh, the task, and then you ask, uh, you can also use Google form if you want to. But uh, another way is that you can just put them into, uh, into quizzes and because you see their names over there, you can just check it. Rather than you ask them to take pictures of their work. Jadi daripada mereka tuh harus uh, ini, ngefoto gitu. So now, next activity, if you don't want your students to use uh, another platform is that you can also use this one using Zoom. But this time, you, we are going to play musical race, yeah? You are still going to be my students. What you are going to do is that you're going to work into groups, okay? And then each group, you're going to choose a favorite musical instrument or a song line. Really, you have to sing and you have to imitate the uh, musical instrument sound. Like, for example, guitar. How does the guitar sound? Uh, how does the piano sound? How does the drum sound? And then after that, uh, that sound will be the password to answer the question, yeah? And later, you're going to see an incomplete question. Uh, what you need to do is that you have to make it into a complete one. In order to answer it, sound the password. The password is the sound of your musical instrument or a song line, okay? So what you need to do is that you have to answer it orally, a correct answers and a point, and a loser, the group that lose, will be uh, will be uh, will will be having a punishment yeah so can you just unmute yourself now so i'm going to divide you into groups can i need groupnya sedikit ya yeah? miss cory you're going to be into group a together with miss daisy and with miss selfia okay so uh, the three of you are going to uh, and mr ferdi you're going to be to group b Miss Dewi and Miss Neneng, you're gonna be group B, okay? And then Miss Sabaria, you're gonna be group C. Miss Dian, you're gonna be group C. Okay? And then any, anyone else? Okay, cuman berdua aja ya. Right, okay. So now, group A, what, uh, what kind of uh, musical instrument do you want to choose? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what kind of musical instrument do you want to choose? Uh, do you want piano? to have? Do you want piano? Piano. Cory, okay. do you agree? Piano? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah okay, piano. So okay, how, right. how does the sound of piano yeah, look so like? <laughs> discuss it. How does the piano sound? Okay, so that's why I need you to unmute. <laughs> Mr. Ferdi, Miss Dewi, and Miss Nenen, what kind of musical instrument do you want to choose? You cannot use piano. Drum? It's drum, very... okay, drum. How does the drum sound? <laughs> Sorry, How is How it? How does the drum sound? Drum, 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 about. Okay, so you talk with your friends, yeah? 
So group A, Miss Dian and Miss Sabaria, what kind of musical instrument do you choose? Miss Sabaria, do you have any ideas? Yeah. Gitar maybe? Okay, gitar. Okay, jereng jereng, jereng jereng. The piano, how does the piano sound? Together, the piano, how does the piano sound? How does the piano sound? Okay, I'll let you know. Ting dong, ting dong, that will be your password, okay? So make sure that everybody in the group sound, yes? And then the drum, group B, how does it sound? Oh, how is this? The drum, how does it sound? Drum. How does the drum sound? Dung, dung, dung. Dung, dung, dung. Okay, dung, 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 that will be your password. Yes, dung, dung, dung. Miss Dian and Miss Sabaria, how does the guitar sound? Dring, dring. Dring, 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 that will be the password, yeah? Yes. Sound file will be your judge, okay? <laughs> now, Val, you have to listen to the sound. If yeah. the sound the password first, just let yeah. me know, okay? Okay. Maybe I will say the, the group is yes. on the name, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Ready, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Ready, yeah? So, let's see. Question number one. Password. Ting tung ting tung. Ting tung group. Ting tung group, okay. Ting tung group, group A. What were you doing? What were you doing? Very good. Okay. Number two. Jereng jereng. Jereng jereng. Jereng jereng first. Jereng jereng first. Okay, now Pak. Jereng jereng. What is the question? Where did Where did they go? Ah ah no. Where? Ting tung ting tung. Where did they go? What is the question? Where did they go? Where were they going? Where were they going? Where were they going? Okay, right. Number three. Dang, dang, dang. Dang, dang, dang. Why did he? Why did he? Oh, why? Why were they holding hands? Why? Why were? Why were he? Why was he holding hands with her? Why was he holding hands with her? Okay, the last one. What about this one? No. Which one now, Pa? Ting tung ting tung. Ting tung ting tung. Ting tung. Okay, ting tung ting tung. <laughs> Who did she wait for me? Who was she waiting for? Who was she waiting, Who was she waiting for? for? Okay. No, last so minute is group A. Yay. 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 Okay. So, all of the activities are in the book, so you can uh, later on ask your students to do it. Uh, what is that? Uh, in their book, yeah? Good job, everybody. So, group A, you are really a good piano player. <laughs> okay. So, remember, yeah? Uh, so, I'm going to brief you. So, uh, the stages of the grammar teaching. So, we move from engage, study, and activate, yeah? Engage means, like, you get the learner's interest, context building, personalization, so you present it. And then we look at the target language. Uh, we learn how to, uh, uh, how the language is produced, kind of like that. We learn about the accuracy through the drilling, saying out loud, gap completion. And then uh, we also do some uh, communicative activities when you are, uh, when you were bre uh, breaking down into the groups. Kan tadi kita ada interview in the breakout rooms. That's also one of the communicative activities, yeah. But communicative can also be written because I also ask you to chat me the answers, kind of like that, using reading, for example. Okay. Now, so build in building the context again. Remember, first of all, look at the function of the structure. Jadi kita membangunnya dari sana, and then know your students' interests. And after that, use the actual condition that is happening right now. And then um, involve the students because when you are involved, everyone, so it seems like the online class will be more alive and more lively. Yeah. So no worries, I, I still have some lively activities after this. 
and then risk the differences of customs and cultures, if any, kind of like that, right? No, because we are learning more into building the context that is quite hard. At the beginning, when I, I was learning about building the context, it was really hard. I mean, like, it took a lot, a lot of time, you know, but when you are used to it, you are used to building the context, it's going to be getting easier, it's going to be getting shorter. Yeah. So you can just use anything actually in building the context. You can use music if you want to. You can also use the video. You can also use games. You can also use pictures. So like what I did earlier, I use pictures, I use a story. Yeah. But now we are trying to use, um, for example, introducing the first conditionals. You can use the Mintimeter. Okay. So now we're going to go into Mintimeter. We are going to do the first conditional, uh, what is that, building uh, context, yeah? So <clears throat> here you see that I'm using the COVID-19 pandemics because it's happening right now. Mm -hmm. When you are building the context, what is possible to use? Lingkungan sekitarnya apa yang sedang terjadi? Itu yang mau kita perhatikan gitu ya. So now we are going to go into Mintimeter. Paling okay. So Mintimeter is quite good if you want to have kind of like polling. Paling enak, karena dia ngejawabnya paling gampang. So Mintimeter is, is the... Uh, talking about Mintimeter, Mintimeter yeah. for the free ones, are they yeah. still using only two slides? Uh, or so we can it depends. Uh, what is that? For the free one, yeah, it still uses two slides. So that's why we are using it for the ice breaking, not using it for, uh, what is that? For the whole lesson yeah. so kind of like for the practice for example i'm not going to use mintimeter but i'm going to use near pot or quizzes more so yeah jadi hari ini buat ice breaking aja gitu okay so now i want you to go to menti.com and use the code uh, 5733312 okay what will you do if covid 19 pandemic ends so you may answer it in short sentence in phrases, in, uh, it's all up to you. Mau jawabnya pakai kalimat boleh, uh, cuman pakai kata-kata boleh. Okay. Now, what will you do if COVID-19 pandemic ends? Oh, so, okay, you will travel, right? Okay, anything else? You will travel to places I want. Okay, right, that sounds good. Wow, you will go shopping? Okay, right. So online shopping is not as satisfying as offline shopping, yeah? Uh, I would book a flight around the world. Okay, what else? So you're gonna go all around the world. I will go to the cinema, yeah, so I'm missing the cinema too. I will go traveling since I delayed my flight ticket, so okay. So most of you are, uh, We'll go traveling. Okay. Anything else? Ada lagi yang lain? Yeah. All right. So now, uh, my question is that: Is COVID nineteen pandemic ends? Uh, does COVID nineteen pandemic end? Gak kan ya? You will reunion. So you will reunite. Okay. With who? I will call my friends to have a party. Oh, yeah, just call me also to your party. I will come. All right, okay, good job, everybody. So the next question could be kind of like this. Uh, does COVID-19 pandemic end right now? No, okay. But is there still possibility that COVID-19 pandemic will be over later? Yes, so we talk about uh, what is that? The first conditionals. When we are talking blah, blah, blah. So you can just use this as a building context later on to get them into studying, uh, what is that? The language pattern, yeah? So you can also use Intimeter too. And that, let's say, for example, you also want them to study more about, so, wait. Uh, this one, okay. Comparative. In using the comparative, you can also use uh, Mintimeter again. So I'm going to just stop sharing it, yeah? I'm going to go into another uh, question, yeah? So this one you can do with uh, 
first conditional. Now with the comparative, for example. So who likes shopping? Tadi kan ada yang mau going shopping gitu kan? Who likes shopping? Ada yang suka shopping? Everybody must like shopping, ya? Yeah? Okay, so you will be traveling to Bali. Okay, right. What you want, uh, what I want you to do this time, you are presented with two items, okay? What you are going to do is that you are going to choose which one, for example, is the uh, is larger, which one is more expensive, which one is slower, yeah? So go to menti.com and use the code 9544340. This time we are waiting for the players. I mean, like, because the answer is not random. So the players are not random. So you have to be in. Yeah. One more person, maybe? Okay. Right. So I'm going to start. Yeah. No more person, okay, right. Now, the first question. Oh, okay, more people. Okay, so I'm supposed to get more points, yeah? Look at your phone or look at your screen. So which shoes are cheaper, Louboutin or Valentino? If you don't know, just guess, okay? All right, okay. So the answer is Louboutin is cheaper. I mean, like in their class, 10 millions, 14 millions. Yeah, okay. All right, next, yeah? No. Kalau salah, nggak apa-apa. If you don't know, just guess, okay? Look at your phone. Which island is larger? Greenland or New Guinea? All right, okay, let's see. Time's up. Okay, so the answer is Greenland is larger for sure. Okay, so let's see another one. Okay, so here we have the leaderboard first. Okay, Cory is the winner. Okay, hebat ya si Cory ini. Ah, luar biasa. Okay, so Cory is the winner. Yay, kind of like that. Okay, so yeah, actually you can have kind of like more questions with Mintimeter, but that kind of questions that we did earlier, so those are the questions that you can use to get the students into kind of like a comparative. So you're gonna compare two things. For example, the island or maybe the car, which one is the fast of, which one is faster. You can also compare, uh, what is that? Um, the, the uh, what, what do you think? Which one having the lower prices, kind of like that, yeah? Jadi yang semuanya ini, ini nanti bisa dipakai untuk, uh, apa namanya? Um, ini sebagai prong, untuk kita mengajar um, comparative, if we want to. But if you find it difficult to use, uh, what is that? The uh, Mintimeter or you are finding it difficult to use um, any kind of platforms, you can just use uh, the slides if you want to. Okay, so the next one, what we are trying is this one, four in a row. Ada yang pernah dengar nggak four in a row? So four in a row is like, um, you can use four in a row, kayak bingo gitu ya. Simple past verb forms if you want to. Here what you have is that we are having boxes of irregular verbs. What you are going to do is that you are going to change that into uh, verb two. Gitu ya? So you're going to work in groups again. I want you to unmute, okay? Still working in the same group, yeah? Uh, Miss Cory, Miss Daisy, and Miss Sylvia, you're going to be group A, you're going to get circle, okay? Group B, Mr. Ferdi, Miss Dewi, Miss Neneng, you're going to get a cross, okay? And group C, Miss Sabaria and Miss Dian, you're going to get triangle, yeah? 
what you are going to do is that you are going to make a four lines. You are going to make four lines that could be horizontal, uh, vertical, or maybe diagonal. Okay. The first group that make up the first line will be the winner or will have the points. It depends like how many uh, how many lines you uh, do you want your students to make. Yeah. So now I want you to unmute. Sekarang di unmute dulu. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna start with group A. Yeah, group A. Are you there, group A? Yes. Yes. So group A, pick one box. Uh, group A, which one? Yeah, Miss Dian, just one box. So Miss Dian is group C, yeah. Group C. <laughs> oh, who is group A? <laughs> group A, Miss Cory, Miss Daisy, Miss Sylvia. Oh, uh, Miss Daisy, can you just one box? Okay, Miss Daisy, which box, Miss Daisy? Eight. I cannot hear your voice because you are on mute. Okay. Number thirteen. Right. Is this one? Sixteen. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Sixteen. Oh, sixteen. 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 Eight. Yeah. Eight. Okay. Eight. 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 Very good. Okay. So you get it. All right. So group B. Mr. Number Fair. fifteen. Fifteen. Which one? Number fifteen. Number fifteen. Drive. Drove. Oh, very good. Okay. Group C, Miss Dian or Miss Abaria? 21, maybe. 21, okay. Freeze. Froze. Froze, very good. Okay. Group A again. Number nine. Number nine, okay. Choose. Chose. Chose, very good. Okay. Group B. Miss Nenek, Miss Dewi, Miss Ferdi. Number, what, what number? <laughs> what number? Okay. Number, so 10. number 10. Number 10. Okay, number 10. Come. Cam. Cam, very good. Okay. Group C. Number 14. 14. Number 14. Okay. Drink. Drink. No, 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 no. Which number? Mikir banget ya. Ini bukan hidup dan mati mis ya. Apa mis? Which number? Group C. Number? Number twenty-eight. Okay. Hit. Hit. Okay. Alright. Group A again. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Good. Twenty-three. Okay. Get. Cut. Cut. Okay. Cut. Yeah, ada yang mau menghalangi jalan, Group B. Ada. Masih ada. Free. Group B. Number thirty. Number thirty. Okay. Number thirty. Keep. Cap. Cap. Group B. Mau kasih jalan Group A. Number twenty, maybe. Baik. Number twenty, okay. Flu. Flu, okay. Group A. Number two. Number two, okay. Wasfer. Wasfer, right? So group A. So this uh, this activity is quite good for uh, what is that for filler for ending of the session or for at the beginning of the session. Uh, just believe me, your students will be very serious about this. Even you, you are very serious, right? Kind of like you are choosing uh, which number that you have to choose so that I can make a line, kind of like that. Yeah. So that's uh, also one activity before you start the past simple activities or maybe present perfect activities. Okay, right, so that's uh, when you want to, uh, what is that, introduce um, teacher tenses because there are a lot of uh, kind of teacher tenses. So uh, right after that, you can just engage your students and then you can have an uh, explanation about how to uh, differentiate between will, be going to, present simple, and present continuous, all of at the same time, yeah? All right, okay, so that will be all. Uh, for my training today. 
uh, I'm really happy to have you today and then thank you for participating with me and then right after this we're gonna have a question and answer session so I'm gonna go yes. back into the <laughs> Okay, so thank you, Miss Juliana, for the wonderful session and informative session about the engaging students to, to be actively involved in online learning for a grammar lesson. And hopefully, today's training will be useful, especially for teaching ideas in online classroom. And now, educators, we open for the Q&A session. If you have any question, you may use the feature raise hand on your Zoom, or you can write down your question on the chat column and we will give you a um, chance to say the question directly to Miss Juliana. So please, educators, if you have a question, you may raise your hand. Bapak dan Ibu, jika ada yang ingin ditanyakan, silakan menggunakan fitur raise hand yang ada di profile Zoom masing-masing. Uh, akan saya pilih dua orang secara acak untuk menyampaikan materi. Maksud saya untuk menyampaikan pertanyaannya ya, kepada Miss Yuli. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, Miss Dewi Siska. Yes, Miss Dewi. Silakan, Miss Dewi. Yeah, you can type or you can talk. So, Miss Dewi, feel free. Which one? Ya, yeah, saya Hello, sudah Miss meminta Miss Dewi untuk unmute. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Okay. Yes, Miss Dewi. Miss Dewi, what is the question? Hello, Miss Dewi. Mungkin Miss Dewi kita hold dulu kali ya, Miss Yuli. Yeah, uh, boleh. Oke, okay, so I think uh, I will move to Miss Neneng. Mm -hmm. Miss Neneng Nur Komalasari. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, so, so sorry for the noise here. <laughs> because okay, my... Baby is having a shower. <laughs> okay. uh, I was wondering what application did you use for the for the, for for the last activity by using the music? Oh, that's right. Uh, I was looking. I was looking uh, in YouTube actually, Miss. So there are some. Uh, what is that? There are some um, activity that is already uh, that is ready to use actually. Get out like that. So, but if you want to, because I also share a, what is that, um, the web address on my materials, so you can just use it freely, for free. Kind of like that, Miss. Okay, thank you, Miss Yuli. Okay, Miss, welcome. Who else, Nova? Yeah, let's see. Mr. Ferdi Imla. Okay, Mr. Ferdi. Okay. Yes, Mr. Ferdi. There you go. Yes, Mr. Ferdi, what is your question? I think his connection is slow, Miss Yuli. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, Miss. The sound. <laughs> so, uh, so for Mr. Ferdi, since um, your connection is unstable, will it be possible for you to type the question? For you, so Mr. Ferdi, for teaching English. Mr. Hello. Yeah, hello, Mr. Ferdi. Because uh, your connection is unstable, perhaps you just uh, 
What is that? Chat me the question. Type the question in the chat box. Okay. Okay, I think uh, since uh, Mr. Ferdy, you can uh, just chat, yeah, but maybe we can uh, find another participant who wants to ask a question to Miss Juliana directly. Can I have um, somebody here who wants to ask? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, Miss Julie. So, yeah, probably I would like to ask oh, her to, no, no, I'm not going to ask a question. Oh, okay, Just got it. Like, uh, who was asking about the songs? <laughs> I cannot remember the name. Probably she would like to know how to edit the YouTube type set one. Oh, okay. So, actually, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Miss Cody. So, uh, what is that? The last one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the last one, what you need to do is that you just need to copy paste uh, the web address and just put it on your, uh, what is that, on your web browser, then you will just go with it, kind of like that. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can also use AdPuzzle. Yeah. Yeah, AdPuzzle would look similar to that area, I think. Yeah, thank you, Miss Gauri. Yeah. So perhaps you can also type it on the chat <laughs> so that everyone can also can. see Miss Gauri. Yeah. Yeah, the application uh -huh. that you use if you want to create one. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Nah, so everyone, that's the info from oh, Miss Cory. At Puzzle, sorry, only one D. Okay, at Puzzle. So you can use at Puzzle yeah. if you want to create kind of like, uh, what is that, uh, the guessing yeah, game like what I did earlier. Thank you, Miss Cory. Yes. That's really You're useful, welcome. helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right then. So uh, I think we have to close our Q and A session, Miss Juliana. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, since it's about the time, uh, educators, we have to close our Q and A session. But you don't have to worry. If you still have any questions about our topic today, you can deliver your questions or idea to the written email on your screen or send chat on the WhatsApp number and your screen as well. So you can see on your screen right now. Maybe you can screen cap. Bisa di screen capture dulu, takutnya nanti lupa. Oke. Okay. So, um, educators, I would like to remind you to fill in the attendant form through the link that display on your screen. Jadi untuk Bapak dan Ibu, untuk yang tadi datangnya terlambat atau tidak sempat untuk mengisi daftar hadir yang telah disediakan oleh kami, silakan kami berikan kesempatan kurang lebih selama 2 menit ya untuk mengisi, jadi ini untuk yang belum saja, karena tadi uh, saya notice ada beberapa orang yang datangnya di tengah-tengah sesi. Silakan Bapak dan Ibu. educators I also would like to inform you that you can download today's materials uh, by clicking the link so or you can copy and paste the link or maybe you can screen cap your screen and then put it later 
or we also provide it on your WhatsApp group so you can download it from there. And educators right now, please kindly fill in our feedback form today by clicking the link or scan the QR code on your screen. Jadi sekarang Bapak dan Ibu kami uh, persilahkan untuk mengisi umpan balik yang sudah kami sediakan. Caranya dengan copy dan paste link yang tersedia pada kolom chat box atau silakan jika memungkinkan untuk memindai QR code yang tersedia pada layar Anda. Saya akan berikan waktu kurang lebih 3 menit untuk mengisi kolom umpan balik. I think uh, that will be enough for you to fill in the feedback form. Now, I think this will be the session that most of you is waiting for. So now let's have a photo session together. So please, educators, turn on your camera, show your beautiful and handsome faces. And my colleague will help me to lead the photo session. Please, Mr. Ludi. Oke, hey, Bapak-Ibu, yang belum menyalakan kamera, boleh tolong nyalakan dulu ya, Bapak-Ibu ya. Oke, okay. kita foto ya. Oke, okay, saya mungkin ya. Bapak Ibu, gaya dong semuanya. Yang seru. Oke, okay. ya. Satu, dua. Oke, okay. sekali lagi ya. Dan tiga ya, ya, Bapak Ibu. Oh, dan tiga ya. Satu, dua. Okay. okay, so thank you Mr. Ludi for the photo session and of course the photo will be sent to your WhatsApp group and educators, I would like to share some updates from Mentari group. The first one, we have Hadriyu. We provide Hadriyu site for everyone to register for Mentari group's events both face-to-face -face and live streaming. Also, through Hadriyu, you can create your own event Kindly visit www.hadriyu.id regularly to check our event updates. Or if you want to have a partnership, please contact our team. We also have Mau Pintar. It is an online learning platform that provides a lot of learning videos that can be accessed every day by students or even educators to have inspiration for teaching ideas. One of the current event is Mentari Tutor Online for student learning with the best Mentari Group's tutors. Currently, we have classes for maths and English subjects. Please kindly visit www.maupintar.id to access the online learning platform. And educators, now we are at the end of our training. Hopefully, this session can provide a lot of information and ideas for teaching development, especially in the current conditions. On behalf of Mentari Group and Mentari Teachers Academy, we would like to say thank you and hope to see you all in the next event. Stay healthy and have a nice day.
pentingnya guru. Guru adalah pengaruh utama untuk generasi muda. Guru mampu mengubah generasi muda Indonesia. Maukah kamu mengambil peran itu? Mengambil peran penting membangun generasi muda, generasi bangsa. Negara memanggilmu. Jawab panggilan itu. If I move the angle B, you see here. Okay, I will stop. Kita akan belajar matematika dengan topik luas dan juga keliling. Bantu kaji jeli untuk mencari panjangnya berapa dan lebarnya berapa. Dengan menggunakan apa ini namanya? Penggaris. Ya benar, penggaris. Oh, karena ini keliling, jadi cara mengerjakannya adalah Dua kali panjang tambah lebar Keliling sama dengan 